and I died. Come on, do it before my Hi. Time. Hello, TikTok world and YouTube world. Come say hi while we get ready for the day. Even though it's already 3 o'clock, I'm still going to do a makeup look. Because I've only got pretty much, what, two days to do two more districts after this? Yeah. Two days to do two more districts. I'm gonna turn on a blow dryer so it'll just calm down. But say hi! Get a conversation going. Uh, they weren't on the floor. I'm only blow drying my hair because I'm going to curl it. I usually don't blow dry my hair. Pop in, say hi. Start a conversation topic. Hello, gamer Ash. Hello, Christian Hill. How are you? That's good to hear. Thank you for the light, Christian. I promise, I'm going to do more than this in the whole life. <laughs> Hello, Kaylee Rose. I'm good. We're getting ready to go on vacation on Tuesday, so we're trying to pack last minute, of course. Oh, baby, you really got to fix my detangler. Thank you for the likes. Oh, thank you. Why do I not have any hair ties? All right, well, yes, we're gonna do a headband to keep it out of my face while I do makeup. I was like, okay, mission accomplished. When I turn to leave, Hello I from hear. Sweden. Hello, Scarlett. I have no idea what Let's Eat Lucas in the Master Bedroom is, but it doesn't sound appropriate at all. Well, I'm on the ground, face up. He jumps on top of me. Hello. I pooped for real. Very clever screen name. <laughs> I am married, yes, very much married. No, I actually cannot do anything really that's dancing because I have a hip condition and it's not good right now. So pretty much anything you see me do in videos, most of the time I will be sitting down if there's a dance involved. I am married to that beautiful lady behind me. Wave, babe. Baby. 
Thank you for the likes. She's busy. She's sorting clothes. Are you folding laundry? Mm. Holy shit. You're I folding know. laundry? I'm conscious. She's folding laundry. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I, I didn't know you knew how to fold laundry. You don't mind me. So that's not you because you don't do it right. No, I don't do it your way. Right, you don't do it right. Thank you, Christian, for the follow. I'll follow you back as soon as I'm done in the live. So yes, I know how to do laundry. I did it way before you come into my She life. doesn't do it right, okay? There's a specific process to folding laundry, and you don't do it the way it's supposed to be done. Your way is the wrong way. This is why I live out of a basket for two weeks. <laughs> because you don't want to put your clothes away. I don't want to hear your mouth. And I found out why I couldn't use. I'm how I fold laundry. Aw, oh, come on, I'm just playing. No, I just really don't like putting laundry in. She's so sensitive. We know this from watching The Notebook. Oh. Listen, that okay. movie fucking okay. traumatized me. I ugly, ugly cry. cried even after the movie was over. I ugly cried for like 10 minutes. It was horrible. And I didn't cry at all. So let's talk about who's sensitive. And if someone gets scared or shocked, their eyes turn black. I mean, no, that's that's interesting. A little creepy. Did you know that? That if you get scared or shocked, your eyes turn black? She says it's because they say that your soul leaves your body. It's like her favorite movie besides Step Brothers. I had never seen it, and I will never watch it again because I'm forever traumatized now. Fuck me up. It did. Baby, will you try to find the hair ties before we leave? I just bought new ones. So wherever you put them... That's my point. We just bought them. They were up there. Now I can't find them. Trauma from the Step Bros? No. I got trauma from the Notebook. Not Step Brothers. Step Brothers is a good movie. The Notebook's a good movie. It just fucked me up. I cannot do my hair with this thing in. Will you give me a scrunchie out of that box? Um, sure. Let me move all the clothes that are in front of me and on my lap. It was midnight... <laughs> and I was in my room, one of my roommates. All of our hair ties have gone missing. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Joseph was right next to him. No, pay attention. Have you seen Callie? We're worried about Callie. <laughs> Didn't I tell you Joseph to pay attention? I just can't catch backwards. The money that we owe in the back Hello, Jeff Downs. Don't watch it. If you haven't seen it, Julie, don't watch it. It's traumatizing. It's not traumatizing. It was very traumatizing. It's loving and caring. And traumatizing. I forgot what district I was doing today. I'm doing... No, I did 11. That was grain. No, that was 10. So what district are you doing? District 11. Which is... I can't look it up on my computer or my phone because both are in use. I don't know where my phone is right now. It's... Agriculture? So in shock. Sure. She was covered in this. Maybe I can't put you up here. Blood. You're asking Kyle Vera how old he is? She, she was I, I don't I don't know. Or are you asking me how old I am? I don't remember all the exact words I said to him. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So what would agriculture be? Why did you do this to me? Get the fuck away. Somebody pick a color for agriculture. Tell me what color you think represents agriculture. <laughs> Look at this. He was like, oh my gosh, why is she picking she I am 34. That he was more upset she is 43. Nope. It's not a lie. She just. She's not 23. So, you, sir, that left that lovely comment can show yourself out. I'm not reading it because it's disgusting and foul. I got her through the shower, and then... Just another man who can't get a girl. Play CPR by Cupcake, please. I don't listen to Cupcake. Sorry. I don't even know what that is. What is that? 
You heard it. I also cannot play music because I'm recording a YouTube vlog. And they will, like, delete my video if I play music. I can't play that on there anyways. Um, E absolutely loves I am not going to tell you again. This is your second warning. You need to get the F out. No, I do not accept guest requests. Absolutely nobody will co-host with me because that has opened up a lot of fucking drama that I just don't need. If I have to give you a third warning, you will be kicked out. No, it's not you personally. I just don't do. I don't do a uh, guest. I don't do co-hosting. It's just too much drama. I just went to the gym today, loser. I could probably lift more than you. You know, it's really sad when straight men get in here and they get jealous because they can't get a woman. Are you doing anyone? Wow. I don't even know your husband. Stay the night in the hospital. And then I stay this is my whole ass wife. <laughs> like, I am gay as fuck, bro. I ain't texting your husband. You need to go to someone else. Happy birthday, Ari. TikTok took your likes away. No, I still got likes up in the thing. You should be able to send likes. Like, this is just ridiculous. I love when I come on later in the day because I get so much fucking drama. I've gotten... Have you ever seen the inside of a gym? Are you doing anyone? You need to stop texting my husband. I say, I gave this person the money. Now we don't know where she is. I hope she's okay. I don't even know your husband. Who the fuck are you? MC Pork Boy. Well, that says a lot, but yes. I don't know your husband. I am saying that he was leaving Denmark because his And that died. If you have a wife, stop texting my husband. Then. How about you tell me who your husband is? At the time, we only thought the story... Because I will personally go call his ass out if that will make you feel better. I don't text anyone. You can ask my wife. Don't call me, sweetie. Ever. You don't fucking know me like that, and you're going to put me in a real bad situation. I got involved in the case only a few days after the I appreciate it, Christian. Yeah, don't call me pet names. I'm not your honey. I'm not your sweetie. I'm not your baby. Get the fuck out. All right, you know what? You're just going to get blocked. I don't even know your husband, and I'm already tired of dealing with you. It's annoying. Okay, well, you're... I wish someone will help me. You have the person. Why is it not blocking you? Sweetie, watch your tone. How about this? Suck my dick, bitch. That better? <laughs> I'm only giving you back what you're giving me. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> you would, baby, you would. I really should be recording this for YouTube. I'm going to get in so much fucking trouble with YouTube. I think I'm going to do this color. This color looks pretty. She couldn't get a man. I've been married. He just didn't know how to satisfy her like I do. Been married. I've dated more men than you've ever seen women. My point is he couldn't get a woman. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Puke. Well, you should see a doctor about that. Alabama. That's where she's from. I'm not from Alabama. Well, okay, she was born in Colorado, but she was living in Alabama when we met. Yeah. Hold up a minute. Thank you, Christian. We are just officially ignoring the guy with the lame screen name. You know, I love how it's the people whose profile pictures look like Sid from Ice Age that talk the most shit. Like, you ugly as fuck. <laughs> I know that's horrible to say, and I'm not usually a mean person, but if you're going to give me shit, I'm going to give it back. That's just, that's just what I do. Oh, he shared my live. He must like me a lot. He hasn't left yet. I mean, he's flirting pretty fucking hard. Flirting like a third grader. 
You know, the one that pulls your hair behind you when you're sitting? We were scared. We were terrified. We fled. I have two kids. Well, they're her kids, but they're my kids by marriage. On the loose and not caught. I'm sure he shared my live video and had some shit to say, but I honestly just don't give up. Give a fuck. <sighs> he said makeup won't help. Oh shit, I used the wrong brand. Everybody was working now hard to find him. He had, had to be separated Do you want to say something? So what? Apparently makeup won't help me. That's okay, because I think you look better without makeup. So. I think I look better without makeup. I just like doing makeup. It's fun. You're honestly not any worse than the lady in here yesterday who was throwing a tantrum over the fact that I wouldn't tell her how big my tits were. For real. You know what, I do get EBT, but not for the reasons that you think. At least I feed my family. And I wouldn't go to Walmart. They recently shot up Walmart. It's probably Shit. the same idiot that was in there yesterday. Probably. It's probably the exact same bitch that was in here yesterday. <laughs> See, I have a physical disability that prevents me from being able to stand or walk for long terms. She, however, works 50 hours a week, and we still qualify for food stamps. I also get enough money that I can pay my bills without it. Uh, in there. In the smaller room. No! No, you fucked it up! You can move them later. Knew it. Hey, at least I know how to spell new the correct way. Are you by any chance related to Black Widow on here? <laughs> that bitch is dumb. Because this is like the exact conversation that I had yesterday with this bitch that had nothing better to do. He was desperate. Chronic conditions are the worst. I mean, you must have a really boring life. Actually, I have seen the inside of a dentist's office. They're scary in there. That's my mom. Is it really? Because if it is, I'm going to need you to just go. Because we ain't doing that drama today. Thank you. I actually wore braces for six years. What's your excuse? He contacted the woman and told her that do you mix mine and eat socks together? Maybe. By accident. They wouldn't give him the money. So she needed to send the money. I don't owe you any explanations, but since you want to be a dick, I'm going to go ahead and give you some explanations. See, I'm adopted, and my birth mother did not take care of me as an infant. So I have long term gum issues that cause my teeth problems. However, you seem to just like meth. And then I informed the police. The woman back there is your mom? No, the fuck she ain't. I know the kids. Both our kids live with us, so I know she ain't your mama. How old are you? Watch him be like 60 years old. I know, that's my point. You're 70. She's 43. People are really fucking dumb up on this app today. I am not going to tell you to have a nice day. I'm going to tell you to have the day you deserve. Which hopefully involves getting... Never mind, I can't say that. TikTok will yell at me. She knew what I was going to say. <laughs> Don't you? Still the best birthday present. And in June 2012... People are crazy on TikTok. They're... I mean, if you were here the whole time, then you could see that they were being inappropriate towards me. I give back what you give to me. Simple as that. And if you think I'm mean, you should meet my family. Okay, I'm blocking you because you're just being disgusting now. And also, 
If you're using that as a fucking honorific, I wouldn't. Because, see, I'm the little in this relationship, and you're going to piss me off real fucking quick calling her mommy. So you got at least two options here. Behave yourself, or I block you. Pick one. I don't know the sentences in the United States for... The amount of people I have to deal with that are just disgusting-ass human beings should not even be allowed to exist. Looks just like your mom, though. You look like my mom? I've was talking about Linda, but okay. She doesn't look like... My mom is 75 years old! <laughs> Oh, good. He's back. Um, or she. It. Video. It's back. I honestly don't know if you're male or female. My hero for the rest of my life. I can't. At this point, they probably don't know either. They don't. They're just bored. But honestly, the more drama you create, the more screenshots I get, the better my content will be, and the more followers and likes I'll get because TikTok people love drama. I don't speak Japanese, sorry. Because you just uh, ran all those words together. Many big things are crawl, Apparently not, you're still here. Feel like they fail, and they shouldn't. Obviously, your mother never loved you enough as a child. <laughs> She's laughing back here because she thinks this is fucking hilarious. From a different perspective now. Uh, Probably. I'm eventually, I'll get tired of your shit and I'll block you, but right now I'm just letting you have your moment because everybody needs to feel a little special every now and then. And clearly, them special ed classes weren't doing enough for you. Thank you. I'm going to curl it though because uh, I usually kind of get a little girly on Sundays. So. I get startled a lot more easily. Somebody did not get enough love as a child, and I feel sorry for you. And there's probably a lot more that I don't even know. People would probably be nicer to you if you weren't such an asshole. Come on. Come on. I also appreciate Christian, you trying to get people to be nice. It's never going to happen on TikTok. People just, they have nothing better to do. Obviously. We've still got this loser here. People about it so that it doesn't happen to them. That's your fucking responsibility. Thank you for the likes. After years of was released. Just once I'd like to have a live where people weren't starting shit. Just once. But that's what you get when you have a following. Yeah, um honestly, I was bullied all through like elementary, junior high, and high school. There ain't a fucking thing anybody could say that's gonna hurt my feelings. I'm just like, yeah, okay. Uh, I've been called worse by better people. By people I actually know. So, you're not gonna hurt my feelings any. Honestly, it just made me a stronger person. It gave me tough skin. But I am the type of person who I will always give back the energy you are giving me. So. Is she trying to lay on the clothes? She's trying to help me fold the clothes. How's that going? Yeah, she likes to do that. Thank you. I would like to think that I've built myself up to be a strong person for sure. She's a cat. Thank you. She's a cat. She's not going to help you fold laundry. What'd she do? Knock my can over. Did she knock it over or did you knock it over? When did I come out? Officially, after my divorce, I think I was, uh, what did I say? 26? I'm now 34, so I've been openly out for eight years. 
but I knew when I was 16. I just grew up in a very old-fashioned Catholic family and wasn't comfortable with being a lesbian that young, I guess. Needed to find my way. Amy, how long have you been out? Since I was 24. Since she was 24. So almost 20 years. 19 years. 19 years? 19 years. I'm right. I'm so bad at math. Sorry. I hate math. Don't worry. I can balance a checkbook and do my taxes, but don't ask me to add things together for you. That takes too long. He's got so many missing socks to pray in the Probably. We are very happy together. I love when I get on live and I see all these people sending people a TikTok universe and I know it's worth eleven hundred dollars. God, that just kills me. I need whatever job you have to send somebody shit for eleven hundred dollars. This is my home. I, I wonder how much they make off of something like that because you send me a gift. I make literally a penny per gift. Yes. It's crazy. So I wonder if you send somebody a TikTok universe that's worth $1,100, how much of that that actually turns into cash for them? That was a weird question. You know? I thought about that before. What did you do? I didn't know. Thank you for the light. Welcome, just me, 8317. Hello, Jessica Renee, 1981. Welcome to the live. Join in the conversation if you would like. We're just talking about shiz. Random shiz. It's hot in here. But yeah, I just learned the other day that that was eleven hundred dollars. I don't know. Hold them up so I can see them. Yes. Yeah. March of twenty seventeen. I always give those to you because I forget they're mine. My previous roommate had left, and my mom was having to fork over money to me, keeping up with the bills. I love my mom. I love my mom. I just want to get to like ten thousand followers so I can join the creator fund. That's what I want. Up my ass about. What are you doing to secure a new roommate? So I put an ad on Craigslist and I interviewed. Never put an ad on Craigslist? The so freak! Here enters Red Creek. Who? Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, really? I heard she said. Oh, it was almost there. What'd you do? She came off? Came off. Oh. I just to be like, damn, babe. I'm not flaky, so. Is it yours? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? Because these stuff's in here, too. And I'm going to throw it in a room. Oh. Is that say, yeah, those are mine. The really silky ones are mine. But I think I've only worn one pair. Oh, they're all clean. I said, so are you a Why? And he said, not current. I still have to. Right now, I am working as a tutor. <laughs> she hates laundry day. He's traveling. He's coming from New York into Philadelphia. He hasn't established a home base. I can look him up online through Socrates and Plato, his website, where he offered mentoring and tutoring okay. for school students. Okay. I went online and read I see how it is. I don't know what it is. I was like, wow. Okay. I know. You do hate laundry. It's okay. I would have eventually put away your clothes for you, but I knew you wanted to go through them for your vacation clothes. Why did I put this in? I am not very smart today. And I did say, I'm very uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable with this right now. I'm just meeting you now. I should have gone with that uncomfortability. Somebody send me $10 so I can have this new setting spray. Just kidding. Don't do that. 
He bought me a latte. He was in khakis. He had a Lacoste shirt. Pink cut. Lacoste. Groom. Kind of tall, dark, handsome. I gotta let the settings he reset. Me he had a dog. I was gonna go home and get my dog, and we were gonna have the dogs meet. If the dog's not happy, it's not gonna work out. We went down to the water tower park. There's a baseball field. We played in the park. And the dogs are happy. So we walked from the water tower down to my apartment. And if you're joining the live now, say hi. Join in. Like Thank you for all the lights. Like, comfortable. I said, this is great. And Gifts are appreciated, but they are like, absolutely not mm -hmm. necessary. I said, when would you like to move in? I'm here for the fun of it. Not for the money. Well, Although I do want to join the creator fund when I get enough followers my finally. Bank account. So close. I can write you a check. I can move in tonight. I said, you're going to have to fill out this Thank you. Account. That's what I like. It's fired by the property management. You have no problems doing that? No problem at all, Alex. That's fine. I trusted everything that he was saying to me. Clean cut preppy. Background in law. Educated, intelligent, tutors people for a living, mentor, with a dog. So that night, Jed moved in. He arrived with six or eight tupperware bins, a dog, a cat, and a fish, and a fish bowl. He didn't say anything about these things. I'm allergic to cats. He reassured me in one breath. It's not going to be an issue. You're never going to see the cat. The cat doesn't come out. She's quiet and very um, shy. The bins got stacked in the corner. The bedding unfolded. It was a big. Oh, yeah, that star. She's always into something. And that was it. We have a few others running around here somewhere. She is the oldest cat I have. She is two years old. She'll be three in December. I left it out on the table and asked him to fill it out. And I do remind him, can you please fill out this paperwork? I'll get to it, don't worry. I'll get to it, don't worry. And I'm like, okay. It just sat there on the dining room table. What? Yeah. In the first few days of him cats. living in my apartment, what is one? I noticed uh, some of my personal items service. were moved. Like you sure they are or are they? Oh, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I don't know. What did you do with my plants? Because, you know, they neglected they with their right. owners not being home. Yeah, they're so neglected, let me tell you. Christian said to wish you the best for him. For what? To wish you the best. For what? I don't know. Just say thank you. Oh, thank you. She says thank you. I need a desk and a table. Out of the chairs? Yes, they make a very good desk and table. And he said, why do you need all of them? His response to me was, Alex, this is ridiculous. There are only two people in this house. Why do you have six chairs for the table? You only need two. You let me have two at the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest yeah, put that away. Not right now. Uh, okay. We appreciate it. 
Yes. Okay. You're packed or you have it over there for me to put away? Okay. It's not the same difference, but I appreciate the effort. It was Still not the same difference. The meaning, it was like, I, was stupid. I lost my phone. You always lose your phone. Come on, you could jump. I don't know why you got down. <gasps> don't be mean. Dramatic. I'm not mean. Small legs. She's as tall as Julie. Thank you very much. Yeah, and Julie acts like she don't know how to climb half the time too. So. <laughs> oh, you're so vicious. <gasps> The ninja dog. Oh, yeah, ninja. She's not really vicious, she's just playing. Oh, her ninja. Red flags. Mm -hmm. the ninja. Because, you know, there will inevitably be somebody who pops up like, Oh my god, you need to put her down, she's so violent. She's not. Yeah, okay. She disappeared. Yeah. She wanted to be a ninja when she grows up. Oh, yeah. She's so violent. Hi, Bear. Where were you? About as violent as your child, Cindy. Come on, Bear. I feel like this is a good color for agriculture. Why the fuck not? Living anywhere in this country. Excuse me. I burped. That's classy. And then I put in Jack Creek's telephone number and up top his true identity. Is it Ted Bundy? I feel like it should be Ted Bundy. Damn it. I found out that he had had a history of being a squatter. And there was a violent. So Julie's going to work in the morning for me. Okay. Okay. Then sleep all day like she does. Sounds like a plan. Who he says he is. His name is. He was a serial squatter who had terrorized me up and down the East Coast. He was living in my house. They move in, but then they won't pay and they won't leave. They use fake information to get in and work the system to stay as long as possible without paying. I think I'm going to switch to the potassium in the morning. Yeah. Because I'm more active in the morning. Yeah. And then they're very good. And then last night, so I'm not taking one tonight. My anxiety goes from oh, so one to two. 350, 200,000. My heart's racing, my stomach's dropping. That's a problem. My instinct is to remove him personally. But since I work somewhere in the morning, it's probably better to take the extra gas in. What they're doing is recording these small microphones, and they're not. That's stupid, but okay. No, because I had to take it because I have extra in my body for today that I can be even worse for me. Alright, too much Oh, I have lost. Never mind, I found it. I don't think this is it. And he understood enough about tenancy laws to know that this was. And you figure I'm taking my pills in less than 12 hours, so I'll be alright. Okay, if you say so. I got this. I don't know where my eyeliner bag is. Why would I ask for it? She does. Found it. I honestly don't know. We started talking. It was kind of boring anyway, so then I thought, oh, wow. 
We were friends at that point, and then we became, you know, more intimate, became intimate, and uh, I fell for him. What were you downstairs doing? Mm -hmm. oh, I did not go as I planned. Baby, mm -hmm. why did you turn it off? I didn't. Did you lay on the remote? No. Not that I know. No, fat girl did. Not nice, fat girl. What are you looking at me for? You did it. You act like I fucking offended you. You did. Duh. Can't reach the curling iron. There we go. It was fatty, too fatty, bed that hill. Got me in trouble, yeah. asshole. All right. We'll see you later, Christian. Have a good day. I'm going to do some hair now. It was very fun. He had a good sense of humor. We'd go to dinner. He liked Mexican food. I love Mexican food. And we had a lot of good times. He told me he had a law degree, but he had failed the bar. And then he got a job as a teacher in a private school. What? I'm doing my hair. What are you doing to it? Curling it. <laughs> huh? Curling it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I won't keep you then. I was just going to tell you, but I'll call you tomorrow. No, tell me what. I was just going to tell you there was a big thing on here I was just watching about. <laughs> We're expecting a recession. Yeah. And they are saying that you should be saving from now on the best way to try and avoid it because they say that it could end up being a lot of layoffs. Yeah. And they said, try to pool your money. You know, and try not to have to buy gold. new things yeah. and just try to put back a nest bad. egg so that you never have to touch it yeah, and then if something would happen I mean do this now uh -huh. so that if it comes and when it comes you're prepared for it what is she saying? she's not saying anything the TV's on oh okay all right. Well, anyhow, I um, just wanted to tell you. That's fine. Uh -huh. So, um, we'll pick up the 50 I asked you for on Tuesday, and then when we get back, we'll pay you back, obviously. Well, that's fine. Don't worry about that. But anyhow. And we'll bring Nova to you on Tuesday. I'm just not sure what time we've decided we're leaving just yet, so. All right. Well, we'll be here. Okay. So get done what you have to get done. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.